Welcome to WAC Basketball Preview Days, presented by Hercules Tires. I'm Kendra Sheehan, Chicago State men's basketball program joining us. Head coach Gerald Gillian in his first season with the Cougars, Bryce Johnson and Corian Russian joining us. Coach, first year, what are some of your goals coming into this program and rebuilding the Cougars? First, first off, Kendra, thank you so much for having us. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, we're really excited about the season. But in year one, the first thing that we're trying to do, we're just trying to set a foundation for excellence. And we're trying to make our goals a requirement. So when we focus on those things, we want to make sure that we're just taking care of our business inside of the classroom, coming and bringing it every day on the court, and just being a, a, a live, great spirit for the community as well as the student body. And everything else will work after that. Early on, how have you noticed the guys buying into the foundation that you are trying to build at Chicago State? Oh, they're buying in quite well, especially the two guys on my left and my right. They're, they're doing everything that I'm asking them to do. Um, they're, they're in the gym late, early, getting their shots in. You know, they, they, they have a really good understand what it takes to, to be a champion and they're, and they're living up to the expectation. Bryce, freshman from Orlando, what drew you to Chicago State? Definitely, it would be given the opportunity to, you know, do something in the program that's never done before, you know, turn it into a winning program and just being a part of history here. And then also the staff we got here, they're amazing also. So definitely being able to, you know, come in as a freshman and be a part of school history, doing something that, you know, just being part of that. You know, that's really what drew me. You mentioned it. You really have the opportunity to reinvent this team. There's a lot of unknowns about this team coming into this season. What is one thing that your team has solidified in the first few weeks of practice that you can say you have going into the season? That's to you, Bryce. The, the what? <laughs> That would make, making sure you knew it. I was talking to you still, Bryce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You know, we're going to be able to shock a lot of people, definitely, because, you know, we got a lot of people, we got a lot of dogs on our team who, you know, all got the same vision, all got the same vision, you know, want to do the same thing and just go out there and do our thing, do our thing out there and just, you know, got a bunch of hungry people. So we're definitely going to be able to shock a lot of people this year. Corian, is the hunger of this team something that you've seen early on transferring in from Idaho State, that these, this is a group of guys that want to win? Well, yes, it is, Kendra. I think that coming from Idaho State, I learned a lot and seen a lot. So being here, I get to uh, express my experience to these guys, and they're feeding off of it, and everybody's hungry, from the coaching staff to the administration, everybody. Coach, at Sanford, you were credited with one of the best recruiting classes in program history. How do you hope to use your ability to bring great guys to the program with you to Chicago State to bring in some a lot of new, new talent? Great question. I, I, it starts with, like I say, the, the gentleman on my left and my right. They, they do a really good job of connecting not only with each other, but with recruits, recruits as well. And I think a big thing is relationships. Having relationships with, 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 you know, the student athletes is very, very important. And then I want to make sure that their individual goals line up with the team's success. And I always ask every recruit, what are you trying to do in the future? And a lot of times they have aspirations of playing basketball somewhere after college. And I want guys that's going to be inside the gym, work hard, put in that extra work. And, and that's what Bryce does. And that's what Corian does. And you, when you add those things together, you know, it, it's really exciting to get that student athlete on, on campus. Corian, what does the culture look like for this team? Uh, the culture looks great. I mean, everybody's hungry, like we mentioned before, and everybody's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Our motto has been 
the job is what the job is. So that's the job is what the job is. No matter how tough it is. Bryce. <laughs> now Bryce, there. What is the ceiling of this offense? What is this potential of this group have to be able to do in, in the WAC? We got a lot of potential. You know, we got multiple players on our team who could play multiple positions and be a threat from all those positions and know all those positions. So we definitely can be able to be a threat one through five and be able to rotate no matter what. And all of us can be effective that way. So definitely got a lot of ceiling to it. What excites you most about the upcoming season? Winning. <laughs> You know, I'm really excited because, you know, we've all, all of our players and our coaching staff have bought into like what we're trying to accomplish. You know, we're all working hard from the coaching staff to the players, staying in late, like coach said, and being here early. So, you know, just a bunch of hungry people all on one thing. So it's exciting to, you know, like I said, being in, going out there and just seeing it all come together and being able to win. Coach Bryce had talked about the high ceiling that this offense has. What does this offense look like from a coaching standpoint? What are you trying to do this year? The, the main thing is having five people on the floor that can dribble pass and shoot. And, you know, also guys that's going to listen. And, and it's very good to hear Corian say the job is what the job is, because that's, you know, certain times I ask myself, are these guys listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> but now I understand that, you know, they, they do – um, they, they do a really good job of listening and taking coaching. Sometimes that coaching can be tough, but I want to have this everybody on the floor that can drill past and shoot, whether they're 5'10 or, or 6'10. If you can do those things, you're going to be a threat. The job is what the job is. That should be on your T-shirts this year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you, Corian, for joining me. I'm going to hand it off to Chris Thompson. He's going to let the rest of the media ask you some questions. Good luck this season. Thanks again. It was great meeting you all. Thank you. Thank you.